The rock is a barrier to the sea. The sea is a barrier to man. In American Samoa, geography has provided obstacles for man to overcome. A volcanic mountain ridge reaching from end to end of Tutuila, the largest and most populous island. Fingers of rock jut out from the main ridge, isolating villages. Sixty-five miles of ocean separate the islands of American Samoa and add to the almost insurmountable problem of communication. Economic resources almost non-existent, a tropical environment which provides little incentive for producing more than family needs. Human resources, particularly in education, were providing minimal learning opportunities as the child, a product of the village school, became a teacher in the school, wrote learning the method, and a fifth grade reading ability the result. Polynesian a language suited for delicate speech and social eloquence, but not for the use and control of technology. language as ancient as the rock. This is where we begin. A system of 24 consolidated elementary schools and four secondary schools has been constructed, designed specifically to make maximum use of television.
Language development is closely controlled through the levels. Complexity is increased as the child's capabilities grow. The language capability of the child determines the language of the teacher. How many students perhaps in your class today? Five. Show me your right hand. While the child learns, the classroom teacher learns from the television lesson. From the principal. Very much the way you handled the group activities after the telecast. Some of our other teachers are rather weak in this area of class organization. I wonder if you would talk to the teachers tomorrow in our staff meeting about how you handled organizing for group activities. Do you want me to demonstrate it rather than talk to them? Well, I think if you were going to demonstrate it, uh, you'd probably need to bring in students to make it effective. Uh, perhaps you could bring in some of the students' work to show the outcome of uh, group work in your class. Could you think of some possible things? The teacher learns on a more formal basis at Folletti Teacher Training School, where high school graduates are prepared to teach in the schools of American Samoa. child has prob had problems at all. Can you think of another possible reason, Rosa? He hates the teacher. This could be true. This could be true. What would be another possible reason? He then practice teaching under the supervision of an experienced teacher. Pass out the paper immediately after the telecast or should I have some explanation before I pass out the paper? I suggest right after telecasting, you go ahead and explain whatever you want to explain to the children. And then after you explain it, whatever you want to say, they pass out the worksheets. Is there any other thing? And what about yesterday? I, I pass out the paper after the telecast before I explain something. But well, you see, yesterday we had uh, a test, and, and then it says pass out the worksheets right after the telephone, so you don't have to say anything because it was a test. A gradual and controlled increase in difficulty and complexity of language is paralleled by increasing the scope of concepts or ideas. That's water. That's water. That's water. Level one, the home and family. A boy, that's a girl, that's a family. Level two, the village. I live in a village. Yes, you live in a village. That's an island. Good. You're living on an island. Say, I'm not living on an island. Level four. That's the continent of South America. What's this? That's the continent of North America. A closely controlled progression from the simple to the complex, from the known to the unknown, both in language and concept. And what's this? That's the island of Samoa. Within the same level, control is exercised to repeat concepts taught in one area, such as mathematics, in all subjects. In minutes and hours. We use the minute hand to tell minutes. We use the shorter hand to tell hours. Minutes and hours. We can show minutes and hours on the clock. Remember, language arts. Today, you can read a story about a clock. Look at your reading sheet. Our story is about a special clock. It's a big clock. In social studies.
glass. On the telecast, you saw a big clock. Is there anyone in class can tell me what the clock is for? Maybe? It can measure time. It can tell time. Do they know the word minutes? Oh, yes. Uh, they had it this week, both in language arts and, and in math. Mathematics, language arts, social studies, science, all using the new concept, time, to reinforce the student's understanding and use of the term and idea. Close control and coordination is required by the educational system in American Samoa. And then, by land, to the Great Lakes area. This trail is in the northern part of the United States. Emerson, have you seen the diagrams that Kelvin made? Curriculum decisions are cooperatively made and are based on the changing needs of the child. An overall view of the program provides continuity of language and concept. The development of the individual lesson within the curriculum is also a cooperative effort. I'd like to talk about the kinds of life in the sea. Well, we have some films about life in the sea, but they don't show life in Samoa. Uh, maybe we can get our photo department to go out and shoot some things on the reef. We could use those later on then. Well, that would certainly Part be of the team, the television teacher, and the producer-director. It's, it's really very important that this first lesson be general, because before the telecast, I'm having the teacher review the characteristics of animal life. But David, it's very important that we get all these different animals in the telecast. Uh, the whole point of it is that in the before the telecast... The lesson is divided into three parts. Before the telecast, the introduction to the telecast by the classroom teacher. Animal life. Remember, we were studying that in the last unit. Then we're going to relate what they already know about animals to the different animals who tell the telecast itself, the new material presented by the television teacher. Don't you think it's possible to find uh, uh, more films that we'll do? Then after the telecast, thinking about... And after the telecast, the reinforcement of the lesson by the classroom teacher. Life on the Yes, part of it, you know, understand. Also part of the team, the elementary school principal, and the classroom teachers at each school. Watching their faces, I kind of suspected that they didn't understand that part of the sentence. Uh, well, what we'll do then is write up a feedback to the uh, level five language arts teacher and uh, let her know that, that part either needs to be re-explained or re-taught or... George, on lesson 65 in science, it says here, piece of craft paper about 20 feet long. Do we have some in our office? Yes, we do have uh, plenty of craft paper left, and I think you'll also find the chalk and the scrap paper that the lesson plans call for uh, by my desk here on my table. The television teacher and the producer director visit the classrooms regularly to discuss the lesson with the principal and the classroom teacher and to observe classroom activity. There's a hermit crab. There are some powers. There are some secrets. They're all animals. They're all animals. Think about the Planning constantly underway to provide approximately 200 lessons per week.
publication, the publishing of lesson plans and student worksheets to support the lesson. More than one million sheets each month. actual recording of the television portion of the lesson. A hermit crab must find a shell for its soft tail. Animals change and grow. Hermit crabs change and grow. Little hermit crabs must find little shells for their soft tail. Animal guard, master control, studio three, stand by the shade film three. Has shells. Look, they're different. In each shell is a little hermit crab. Starting on the film. The little hermit crabs look for little shells for their soft tails. We're in the film. Here the big film. hermit crabs must find Young big two, shells right, for up their soft tails. The this big hermit crab is looking Camera for one, a shell. Camera one, give me medium shot, please. There's one. Will that be a good shell for this hermit crab? Think about animals we can see on the reef. Can you think of the name of one animal on the reef? Talk to your teacher now. After the telecast, the reinforcement activities. Boys and girls, we know there are many things and animals on the reef. Let's think, how can we show the reef and the ocean in our classroom? Can you go in? Five pictures. Right? Five. Five more. Good. Venus? We can make a mural. Mural, right. Stella? We can bring things from the reef. Very good. After the class, the final link in the closed loop of communication Feedback. How can we do it better? What was wrong with today's lesson? Back to the planning again, but with a little more insight, a little more knowledge, and always the major emphasis, language. Well, we've discussed it before, and I mean, I can see a man. What can you see? I can see a man. Well, I can't see it. I can't see how I can teach about marine life without the word oxygen or even the concept of gas exchange. Well, I know the word air. Why don't you use air? Well, it isn't specific enough. You can't teach gas exchange say, and saying air. You really have to work with this idea. What do you think about a biological point of view? Couldn't you get off on, on reef life and, and talk about shellfish? And that would give us a chance to write... The use of language that the child knows is a constant problem many times requiring the teacher to find completely new ways to state a concept. But it can be done and is done. The teacher's use of language must conform to the language capability of the child. Well, if I suppose you could say you've got to have air in the water because the animal, we have breathe, don't we? Yeah. Can we use breathe? Yeah. Okay. Well, then we, we know that all living things have to breathe. And, uh, At the secondary level, the language restrictions on the teacher are more relaxed and a variety of courses is offered. I pull the line finder towards me. It stays there. I move the paper just a little, not very much, just a little. I type the small O. 
I throw the line finder back. I push it back. Then I turn the paper and I see that I have typed 96 degrees. Let's try the first one, everyone. We'll take a look at it now together. This sentence was written following the film that you viewed about cities. And this student uh, wrote a sentence to describe or define a city. A city is a large, important town that control its own affairs. Now, this sentence is written exactly as the student wrote it. Teachers, I wonder if you'll ask someone in your class to find the error and to correct it for us. That shows us that we cannot stand up on our own two feet. And if we are citizens, I would be very happy because then they're going to have a, another special program, financial, for us here in Lincoln, Samoa. Very good, John. We have uh, two expressions now by two different students, and they do not agree with one another. Into a new enlightenment, or into a new yearning for knowledge, into a new love for learning, is where we begin our review today. I am sure that many of you recall the period of the Renaissance. The Renaissance, which was no definite period in history, but a period in which much of new learning came into existence. In algebra, we found that we could do the same thing using polynomials. You know, I was thinking the P could also stand for phrases. A polynomial is a special kind a phrase in the language of algebra, isn't it? And we do the same thing. Your eye looks at the sleeve. Sometimes extra lines and full sleeves make you look heavy. Think about the clothes that you wear and how they look on you. This is a compression valve. This piece of rubber, this could be a piece of plastic. Plastic or rubber. This piece of rubber compresses against the piece of brass in here. What are the two salmon weights? The significant difference between the elementary and secondary program is that the student begins to use language to express knowledge he has been accumulating. And thus, the classroom teacher becomes a catalyst in the reaction between student and concept. The true Simon custom of eating is by using hands, but nowadays they are using fork, knives, and spoons. Good. All right. Why? OK, Sama? Because the Europeans can hear with their ideas of using forks, knives, and spoons for eating. That's why we use that kind of idea. Three of the four high schools are located on the island of Tutuila. The fourth is 65 miles away on the island of Ta'u in the Manu'a group. All right, write down what do you think is another reason why we are eating there is a different member of the teaching team at the secondary level, the instruction supervisor. His responsibility is comparable to that of the elementary principal, except that he has no administrative responsibilities. His concerns are primarily with the classroom, the classroom teacher, and instruction. A lot of errors in the written work that you'd ask him to do. Do you have any ideas how we might correct this or work with it? Well, I think I would collect the papers and I would uh, see what the mistakes they are making. And then I would uh, correct the mistakes. And on the next day, I would return the papers. I think this is a good idea to collect them. Uh, would you indicate on here the, uh, the correct way that they should have written the work? I mean, when you make the correct, you just won't mark the errors. Uh, what are some of these reasons? 
The other members of the teaching team correspond to those at the elementary level. The classroom teacher. We also know that... Five the television teacher. ...are located in the Manua Island. Where are and the producer-director. I'm sure you know, here on the big island of Tutuila. This is what we already know. Today, we have two. This team, closely coordinated at all levels, emphasizing language and using a controlled vocabulary, visualizing concepts and constantly modifying their day-to-day -day effort is one answer to the problem of rapid improvement in education. It is our answer here in American Samoa. Good. 